It's on. Right, Welcome back. If you watched um, game one, my previous video, this is the second in a series of games we played at the Nantucket Racket Association. Um, I was in the last game, but we switched me out actually for another Cam, believe it or not. He's on the left in the blue long sleeve shirt. So I'm just going to call him Pretty Boy Cam because he's younger than me. And he's got a little bit more flow, seeing as I just cut off all my flow when I moved to Nantucket from Maui. But we're getting this game started. Steven playing that ball, and I think Cam just missed that wide ball. Steven is on the right in green. They're taking on the Westmore Tennis Pros on the far side of Demigod, who's about to serve from the right side, and Jay, who is the tall guy over there. I mentioned in my previous video, he's about six foot five. So we're gonna call this the Westmore Tennis Pros versus the average, or above average Joes. I'll give them above average. I don't want them to hate me after I post this. Good drop by Jay there. And that's a huge speed up by Steven, but you'll learn from watching this, Demi is hard to hit through. They were, Cam, pretty boy Cam, got the ball low on Jay there, but Demi survived three fast balls there like it was a nothing. Jay with a deep serve. Cam, I like the little backhand roll. Maybe a little more wrist, he gets it lower. That time he did. And then Demi, he just can't lob that. Bad decision from the midcourt. Sorry, Demi God. I like this little drop near the middle of the court by Steven. It's got a little backspin, but sets him up with a good dink battle. He's a consistent dinker. Cam changing the angle there. What I love in this point, until that lob, which is actually a good lob because it gets him off the kitchen line and produces a great drop by Steven to have to come back in, but uh, produces the ability to attack because you backed your opponents up. But before that lob, they were dinking all parts of the kitchen. It wasn't just cross court. They were moving the ball around, looking for open spaces. The best dinkers, ooh, Jay, that's a tennis volley. I want to see a forehand roll there. Um, the best dinkers move the ball around the kitchen. They don't hit the same spot over and over. Cam, pretty boy Cam. Can't be missing serves, dude. It's a freebie. Can't do it. Oh, Steven with the risky, taking that out of the air. Did a little mini squat, but he got it. No kitchen fault and takes time away rather than backing up. I like Cam's thought there to make the tall guy dink. But uh, he floated one, and Jay went wide middle. Great combo to attack two different sides of the court, going wide then middle or middle then wide. You're going to find open space that way. Risky lob, but Demi once again getting it high enough that overhead almost becomes a defensive shot. Anyway, you know, the Westmore Tennis Pros have a lead here. They're playing pretty consistent. They're resetting a lot of balls like that. It's a good angle, and then Jay with the good leave. Um, I'd say they're playing a little bit more disciplined than the other team. Right now, there's a wide serve, right as I talked about how they were playing disciplined. Thank you, Demi, for that. Making me look bad as the commentator. But once again, I haven't watched this video yet. I watched it live, and Jay, I love it because Jay's in the video talking about how I just taught him that forehand roll which I am not taking credit because he missed it. But uh, we did work on that this week at the Westmore. Showing a dink with your paddle, then flipping the wrist and the paddle in a fast speed up. A lot of tennis players and just beginner pickleball players are really easy to read when they speed the ball up because they have a big backswing. So showing the dink, getting your paddle low, looking like you're about to dink, and then really aggressively flipping the wrist into a topspin roll can really... Um, I guess catch your opponents off guard even if your speed up isn't as fast because you don't have a backswing It's more effective because your opponent won't see it coming But Jay just pushed that one long, but I love that he went for it Do a good dinking cam right at the feet sets up the speed up by Steven I always tell people there's two ways to attack the kitchen There's side to side make your opponents move Hopefully getting an error or a pop-up where you can attack the open space. But there's also up and back. Short in the kitchen, deep in the kitchen. Cam on the previous point hit deep in the kitchen. Jay did not move his feet back and tried to play it with a short hop. And it cost him. Oh, what a rip. But good defense. 
Wow, the Westmore guys are really attacking well here, keeping that ball low with the feet. And that's just too much to handle. Jay just essentially handcuffed Cameron, right, to his guard his body, right? And that's where a lot of good speed ups go at your opponent. It's mean, but it's the right play. Court's too small to go with the open space sometimes. It'll be in your opponent's swing path. Ooh, that's a bad roll by Jay. Like, just, I don't think he was in a good position to roll it. It was a good dink, but, you know, the Westmore guys have a big lead, so they can look to speed up a little bit more here. I'm sure Steven wants that one back. He has the right intention to hit it deep there, but he missed the back line. Demi with another lob. Still pretty deep. Steven, right shot to come over and take that forehand. Just missed the ball. Ooh, that's a dangerous lob. That one ain't going to work. So I would say Demi's getting a little bit lob happy right here. He has very fast hands and fast reflexes, but... You don't want to throw up too many in pickleball because the court's short. But it is a good changeup. It's a good volley to get it back at the feet by Demi, keeping their opponents back. Great middle return there. Had some action on it. That high ball, Cam. Probably wishes he put that away because now he's handcuffed. Ooh, I did Cam dirty with the pink fuzzy handcuffs. All right, those are the handcuffs he got. But, uh, yeah. What, I gotta do um, someone who shares my same name a little dirty sometimes when he messes up, but that's a great attack by Jay, putting it on his body, jamming him up. So, yeah, he got the fuzzy pink handcuffs. Yikes. Alright, Westmore guys, you have a big lead, but don't play stupid. That's just a bad speed up. Sorry, Demi. Not a good decision. But they're up 8-3, they can take a little bit more risks. Good drop there. Jay right there, his foot was close. I don't think he kitchen faulted. He's just so tall, he can reach in, grab that ball out of the air, take time away. Great middle drop. And then you could see Demi start to back up already. Steven's gotta put that on his chest. Or really below his waist would be better in that role, but just missed it. Set it up well with a great drop. Jay, look at the discipline coming forward. Everything bouncing in the kitchen in front of his opponent. And then he handcuffs Cam again. Pretty boy Cam, I'm sorry, but I'm doing you dirty again. The pink handcuffs. Dang. Got a good cross-court dink battle here. Stay disciplined. Demi, good hands, good hands. Gets it at the feet. Ooh, those are three or four balls at the feet. You're going to win a lot of points playing like that. Sometimes I think when people get the higher ball... They hit it so hard that it actually travels past the kitchen and it doesn't get to their opponent's feet. It gets higher on their body. So decelerate a little bit. Don't hit 100% pace. Add a little spin. Put it at your opponent's feet. You'll get another high ball at the worst case scenario usually. We play on. All right, that's game point one saved by our above average Joes. Not so average Joes, whatever you want to call them. Good defense, but game point two failure man maybe they just wanted to play a little longer who knows i don't know i like that little roll by demi there keeping it on the outside of the court Ooh, did jay kitchen fault there i was on the side and this is the one time i thought he might have kitchen faulted but uh it's a friendly we're being friendly and no one seemed to notice so i guess he was good that's a great drop Get in. Nice. This is a point Steven likes to get into right here. Get that angled dink. Changes it up. Gets the lob he wants. And KO. Did I mention Demi's a little lob happy? Well, he's made some work, but that one just didn't get high enough. And the Bert. He went for it. Come on, Bert. Ooh, they spelled Bert wrong, but... I want to try this cheese now, just because of pickleball. And the best pickleball meme ever. Ernie, try it, Bert. No. Come on, Bert. They spelled Ernie wrong for pickleball and Bert there. But All right, 10-4, Army Sergeant. I think this is their third chance at winning the game. 
and Steven with a good speed up right at the body. Ain't gonna end the game that way. Westmore Tennis Pros. In point number four. Four is my favorite number, so they better end it here. And they do. If you enjoyed this content, watching the Westmore Tennis Pros get the dub, um, subscribe, like my videos, and I'll be posting more. Um, I will try and get the tripod out of the bottom right corner as my amateur YouTube career continues to fail. Bye.